Liverpool to Portsmouth, yeah, that chorus got the crowd screaming. What's going on, people? Fame Entertainment here from the Inner Circle. If you missed my last video, please go back and check it out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, go in the comment section down below. Positive and negative feedback is always welcome. So please, let your voice be heard. Now, like I said before, make sure you guys go in the description down below. And make sure you guys go join our Gives of War 4 giveaway. If you do not want to pay for the game, why not come over to our contest and try to win the game for free. For the absolute free. You won't have to pay a dime. I, myself, personally am giving the game to you. So why not join to enter? Now... Today, that's something I want to talk about. It's probably going to piss off a lot of people, but frankly, I do not care. You guys know how fame do, how I does, what it is. I'm always telling how T.I. is because, frankly, I cannot help it whether or not you are offended or how you feel. I don't care. And you, you know, I said all the time, you know, go in the comment section. Let your voice be heard. Let me hear it. What you got to say? And that's cool. You know, I want your opinion. You say, fam, you a stupid SOB. That's your opinion, fam. Nothing I can do about it. You know, if you say, fam, you cool as hell. My nigga. Now, I do want to talk about something that I see in the YouTube gaming community that is beginning to become annoying, especially for the channels who are constantly looking for attention, constantly making videos about other, maybe, people, or anything besides gaming. You know, these people, yes, they do make gaming videos, but at the same time, they're not making videos that's talking about gaming. They're talking about what another person may be gaming or what they may not be gaming on. Now, something I noticed that, yes, it does work both ways. Before I make this statement, let me make it perfectly clear. This works on both ways. Both fanboys on the Spectrum, PlayStation, and Xbox, they both do it. They both do it. Today I'm going to focus on one side because the side I see the most and the side that will get you the most views if you do this particular thing. Now there are channels who are out here when they begin to see their viewership fail. When they begin to not become relevant in the gaming community, they turn to bash the Xbox because they know if you put Xbox sucks or Xbox this or x Facts that in the comment section of a YouTube video, you will be getting hits no matter what you say in a video. No matter how asinine the video is, you will be getting hits for that video. When everything fails, go bash Xbox. What kind of channel is that? Why do you guys support those type of channels? There are plenty of channels in the YouTube game community that talk about gaming, that talk about the positive side of gaming, that talk about great things. They actually show a lot of gaming content. You guys will not click that video, but you will click a video that says the Xbox sucks ass. You will be quick to click that video. I, it, it's just something that I can't really wrap my, you know, my thoughts around on why you guys continue to do that. You know, support those videos. And the people who make the videos, why do you continue to do that? Can you not find a different bread and butter? Now, I guess, you know, it's, you know, bashing the Xbox is like the pick and roll. You know, you can always run a pick and roll, and it will become effective nine times out of ten. Every once in a while, yeah, you will not get any any, any tread on that video. But if you talk enough shit in that video, and you call enough people Xbox and x Factor, let me get this thing, let me, let, me, let me get this thing clear. I have a question for you guys, because I've been confused on this topic for a long time now. So... Anyone who prefers the Xbox or is excited about an Xbox product coming, excited about a controller, a console, a game, etc., they actually enjoy and like the connect and the feature that it brings and the enhancement that it brings to their console, their enjoyment of gaming. Why is it that every single one of those persons, th those people, is an Xbox or Xfab or X Twat? Or whatever you guys are calling a variation of someone who enjoys the Xbox. Yes, there are Xbox fanboys who go to the extreme. You want to call those people those things? Perfectly fine. But it's gotten to the point where anyone. I could be in a conversation with someone and say, man, I cannot wait for Scare Banners. That game looks amazing. The very next comment would be, you goddamn Xbox. That game's going to be trash. Why do I have to be an Xbox? Because I enjoy the product the Microsoft are putting out, we don't have to enjoy the same thing. We don't have to like the same thing. You don't even have to like me or what I like. But the fact that you are calling me a variation of a fanboy because I am excited for a product, it's ridiculous. You know, and you can be on the, on the, on the other spectrum 
You know, you can be excited for a PlayStation game. If I call you a pony, you will be upset because the rules don't seem to apply to both sides of the spectrum, Xbox and PlayStation. It only applies to the Xbox side. And I see this a lot from the PC community. The PC community, yes, you guys are guilty of this. Ooh, you guys are guilty of this. You guys are guilty of coming out and bashing the Xbox okay, okay. for views. Okay. Yes, this happens. And yes, I know it works on both sides. I said it before, and I'll say again, it does work on both sides, yes. But a lot of people in the PC community are, you know, bad at this as well. You know, they'll come out and say, all the positive things about PC gaming and how much console sucks. But when they mention about how console sucks, when they mention the negative aspects of console gaming, they only mention Xbox. I made a few tweets not too long ago, and I made a few comments in Facebook groups, and I, was, and I made a comment that said the PC community is afraid to speak out against the PS4 community for whatever reason. I stand by that statement. I don't care who gets mad or how you feel, make a video about me or go in the comment section of my video and talk shit. I do not care. I stand by that statement. The PC community is afraid of the PS4 community. They will never speak against the PS4, nothing they do wrong. They will never speak against them. Now back to my original point. I'm sorry if I get enough topic. My apologies. But when all this fails, go and bash the Xbox One because that's how you will give you some subscribers to your you channel. To there are Xbox channels who do the exact same thing. This is my third time saying it. I don't deny that they don't do that. I don't deny, but it's more on the Xbox side. You know, some, someone can just go, you know, and, and do what they normally do and make a couple of gameplay videos and they realize no one's talking about them and no one's watching the videos and their viewership goes down and their views go down and lose a couple of subs, make a video talking about how Xbox sucks and how much the Xbox One S is trash, how much the Xbox One Scorpio is going to be complete poop and it can't do 4K 60 frames per second uncompromised because you don't believe nothing a Microsoft executive said, but you will believe an armchair dev inside of a Facebook group before you believe what a Microsoft executive says to you. You, you will completely say, yes, Microsoft has nothing to do with selling lies. They've lied since day one. I, I, why would I believe a, a, a Microsoft executive? But you will believe someone on a Facebook group that you never met before, ne never who are friends with in real life. You will believe that person in the heart. You believe everything they say to you. And you believe that person will not lie to you, but you believe Microsoft was lying to you. That's just a way for you to stand, try to stand out and be friends and be cool with somebody. You know, using the Xbox as a platform to sound like a fucking idiot. Anyone who disagrees with me, yes, you have an opinion disagree with me. You do have that right to disagree with me. But if you disagree with me, you do nothing but lying to yourself. Like I said, I don't care who makes a video about this video. Do not care. It is an absolute fact. And if you are one of those people, I'm sorry. If the shoe fits, be, be my guest and make a video about me. Be my guest. If the shoe fits, lace that bitch up and walk a mile. Because it's the absolute truth. Look at your channel. Look at your channel. If, you, if you're one of those channels who like to bash, you know, or be on the crumb side of YouTube or whatever, look at your channel and look what videos get you the most views. Look what video gets you the most views. And I guarantee the videos that you talk negative about Xbox on will get you the most views and the most viewership and the most fans and the most subscribers. Those will be the videos for you because when in doubt, when in doubt, when your channel is failing, go out and bash the Xbox One. This is Fame Entertainment from the Inner Circle. You guys have a great one. I'm out. Yeah.